right. You know, hold on real quick, Jim. Uh, you know, first of all, just, you know, congratulations to the Patriots. Uh, they did a great job. You know, Coach Belichick did an outstanding job. You know, there's really no other way to put it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty numb right now, but, you know, definitely I got out coached, and I didn't do nearly good enough for a football team. Hey, great job, man. Hey, I respect you, man. Appreciate that, Kyle. Yeah, respect you, man. But, um, you know, the thing that's so tough about all of this is that, you know, the finality to it. You know, usually when you get a chance, if, if you go through some adversity, you can bounce back right away. This one's going to stick with you and just stings in your gut. And like I said, I'm still kind of numb right now. But I have so much love for these players and these coaches. And that's where, you know, it, it really, you know, it eats at you because you feel like you didn't do your part to help them, um, you know, achieve success. But one of the things that you can't say enough about is just the resolve of this football team. I love the way they continue to compete. I love these players and coaches, and, um, you know, that's the motivation to go back to work and try to do right for them. Yeah, you know, I think really the value of experience is something that, you know, this is a humbling game. And when you go back and you look at every single game, you get a chance to learn from it. Certainly they did some things, you know, specific to, you know, what they had shown where they did a great job mixing it up a little bit on defense. I thought our, our defense did a nice job, but then, you know, they were able to make some plays here and there. And you see why they're a great football team. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you, you can always learn, Jim. And, um, you know, certainly this is going to be a very humbling, you know, tough one that you, that you do learn from. But you got to demonstrate that mental toughness you talk about, and, and that's all I know how to do. Yeah, you know, Mike, he, he is. It, it really, we just, I, I never enabled us to get into a rhythm offensively. Um, you know, we didn't have any really third down conversions really the whole first half, and, um, you know, they did a good job, and then it seemed like every time that we got a little bit of a positive play, then we'd end up having a penalty or get move ourselves back. So I think a lot of it was a result of some of the things they did, but then also the play selection. You know, I, I, I was not pleased at all with my feel for the flow of the game and, and kind of making some adjustments as the game unfolded and, and to giving ourselves a chance to have some success and, and put some points on the board. And, you know, credit to them, and, and they did a good job, and I certainly didn't do good enough for us. But, but Todd is healthy, and, you know, it, we just didn't really get a chance to get anybody going today offensively, and, and you know, that starts with me. Yeah, they've done a good job with that, you know, really with the stunts and different things. And then, you know, they mixed it up. You know, they had played almost exclusively some man coverage principles and decided to take a, take away. And really in the early downs, all they ended up doing was, you know, playing some single high buzz structures and some quarters principles. And then, you know, third down, they had their designers and things like that. But they did a great job. It was a great game plan. And, you know, no other way to say it, but I, I got out coached tonight. Sean, can you talk about your defense, Jared? You know what, until I go back and look at the tape, it, it's really hard to say, Jason. I think the biggest thing is, is you know, the play selection didn't really give them much of a chance. So um, I think it starts with me, and, and then that's where you got to look back and, and see what are the things that we can do to, to be better for our players, and then what can the players do better to execute, and those will be things that we'll look at. Yeah, I, you know, I think he's just got such high expectations for himself, Lindsey, that, um, you know, he wanted to make a play there. And, and I thought he made some great throws to get us down into that position, and they ended up zeroing us in the high red. And that was something that they had done. But, you know, the play clock was ticking down and kind of threw it off of his back foot. And, you know, Gilmore ended up making a nice play right there. But, um, again, you know, th th those are the things that you just say, what, what can you continue to do as a coach to try to, you know, put your players in better spots to have success? What you love about Jared is the first thing he does is he looks Looks inwardly, and, and he's a great competitor, and I love the way that he continued to compete to the end. Yeah, I mean, I just think really it's it's a more of a result of just kind of the opportunities he had, and and you know I, I don't want to be a broken record, but the the real the reality is is that you know we didn't get a lot of plays off in general until kind of you get into some of those known passing situations towards the end, and well, it seemed like when we did end up having some success, then you you know I thought the holding call really was a was a really tough one for us where you know we had some good you know we had a good drive going, Todd makes a nice cutback run on a tight zone, and then it puts us at first and twenty, so those kind of plays Plays seem like they continuously presented themselves throughout the night, and it never really enabled us to get into a rhythm. And you know that was really tough. Can you kind of elaborate on the challenge, preparing for, for what Bill does in defense, and then when you get in the game, you see what. You're sure. Doing. Yeah, I mean he did a great job. You know, there, there's really no other way to put it. But the the Patriots coaches did an outstanding job putting their guys in positions, uh, and then the players did a great job executing. You know, they definitely changed it up. You know, can you know. 
with what they had done over the past couple weeks, especially when you looked at kind of some of the things that enabled them to have success against the Chargers and against uh, the Chiefs. But they still played some front structures that we anticipated, and they did an excellent job with it. Um, and then when they went, when Chung went out, then they ended up playing a little bit more of a base defense to some of the personnel groupings that we were presenting. But uh, their coverage principles were definitely mixed compared to what they had put on tape. But, but they did a great job, and it was something that, you know, I'm disappointed that I didn't do a better job adjusting within the framework of the game, but that's one of the things that makes them great. Were they doing something specific that you didn't feel like you could throw the ball at the top most of the game? Well, you know, there was some different situations. You know, you, you could always look back and certainly, you know, that's going to be something that I'm sure I'll say, yeah, I wish I could have gotten him a little bit more involved and could have thrown him the ball. But in a lot of instances, you know, you're saying, okay, if the, keeping the run pass balance, and then when you do decide to activate some of the throws, uh, what are the ones that give us the best chance to have success uh, while not putting us in a position of where, you know, you're getting those pick stunts, different things like that, if you still want to be able to kind of keep that regularity. So uh, the film is always a good chance to go back and look at it. I, I know there's a handful of decisions that I'm going to want back for sure. I think they, you know, I think what it did was it definitely made it difficult for us because, you know, anytime that you're not able to get some of the explosives or, you know, you feel like you're always kind of right in between where it's that second down and is it six, seven or five and then you end up going to third and two and then they did a great job stopping us. You know, we had a situation earlier in the game where, you know, it was a third down and two and they ended up getting us on a, on a sack that set us back where you're probably in four down territory there so I think it was more of a you know just them consistently doing a nice job of not giving up some of the explosives and then you know they stopped us on third downs and that that really prohibited us from getting into a rhythm Show all the